Oh, I know you can. Hey, what's going on, Charlie here? I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multicasking today. Yes. Uh, special episode. Uh, today, we're going to continue with our whiskey exchange. Exchanging whiskeys with, with other YouTubers. Yes, we have uh, done it with uh, Truths, Proofs, and Fire Water Reviews. Yes. We exchanged four whiskeys with them, with uh, John and Lindsay. They gave us five, but... They did give us five because they also gave us a room. Yep. Um, but today we have from it's bourbon of the week, bourbon of the week. We have Chris sending us uh, four whiskeys. Uh, so we got with Chris and I said, hey, uh, we do this thing called whiskey exchange. You want to partake? He said, heck yeah. So the only rules, I'll let you do that, Gene. The only rules are uh, one bourbon, one rye, one cast strength or barrel proof, and one world whiskey there are no rules beyond that Ooh, um we don't even know what no, is yeah, what. everything will be blind he uh, he'll provide a key for us as we provide an answer key for him but the way we do it on our show is we're going to rank them uh from the one we like the best to the one we like the least uh one through four and we're gonna have fun doing it we're gonna give our notes probably try to guess and give some horrible guesses um but yeah i go from that key. Ooh, the answer key we'll leave that down there and then uh, we're gonna have some fun with this um, good stuff. If you haven't checked out uh, his show, we'll leave a link uh, down in the video description below. You can go check out Chris and uh, partake in all things uh, that are awesome. He is growing left and right, leaps and bounds. He is a tell it like it is reviewer. Yes. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start pouring so yep. they open up. Yes, a little bit. Uh, so there, like I said, there are no rules to this. It's just a way. For the whiskey exchange is about exchanging whiskey with other whiskey tubers and just to see what you're at at that moment in time we all have our own whiskey journey that we go on and this is just uh where we're at in ours right now we sent him four he sent us four and uh we're gonna have some heck of a fun time doing it all right we're going with a first um yeah a i'm gonna tell you is a bourbon i get the malt i get wood easy malt it's kind of like um, I'm going with a rye actually on this. <clears throat> I don't get my normal rye notes, which are the cinnamon, the cloves, the anise, the bacon spices. I do get malt. I get. I was gonna say expired Cheerios is the first note that I got. Um, expired Cheerios. Maybe not. I don't know. It was hard when you don't know. I'm fighting to get any other notes other than the like expired Cheerios, malt, wood. <clears throat> Dust, um, a little muskiness. Muskiness, yes. Yes, um, kind of like a, um, uh, 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 an old carpet, maybe. Hmm. Okay. There could be, maybe there's no rye in here at all, but I'm really getting a lot of rye notes. Hmm. And go back to it. I get um, so when I think of a rye, I get like that mushroom. What this is the rye? Oh, I get like that, like a, a lemon mushroom, and I'm getting a lemon mushroom with some basil up in here. Yes, yeah, first note up at this is C, right? Oh, this is B. Is it be B? Yeah, B. Uh, yeah, instantly got that clove, the anise. Bacon spices. I don't think it's a hundred percent right, and I don't think it might be a ninety-five-five. But here's some spearmint. This one's the rye. Gotta love rye. Gotta love rye. Let's see here. Bourbon. Ooh. Maybe this is the bourbon. Oh, we got, well, we got bourbon. We got a rye. I'm gonna go bourbon rye, cast strength, world whiskey. C's got a great nose on it. It really does. Are you, oh, you're on C too, yeah. C is robust with caramels and oak, butterscotch butter. It's different. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm like, yeah, no, 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 I got D as well. This is like apple juice. It's apple juice out of the box. It's a world whiskey, so it's gotta be for anywhere except America. So it could be Canadian, could be Danish, could be Finnish, could be Japanese, could be Indian. Oh, it's different. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, There's like sour apple yeah. juice box. So I'm gonna go ahead and do palette on A. All right. There's mm. just a weird uh, nose on that one. That's delicious. That punches you in the face with flavor, unlike the nose. Yeah. Mm, okay. Um, 
That is an orange filled chocolate. See? With cream. It's got a great mouthfeel. Saturate mm -hmm. your tongue with uh, vanillas and you say cream filled what? Orange. Yes. I got orange. I was gonna, I, yeah. I must have tuned you out a little bit when you said that because I was thinking uh, the, the cream filled orange and the box of chocolates you get. That's what I said. I know. That is an orange filled chocolate. See? With cream. I was going through my own little that is a, memory palette. Man, that's, that's what good. I said. And I agree with you. Listen to me sometimes. I oh, do. That's good. Even my teeth. <laughs> Love me your eye. <laughs> Love me your eye. It has great rye nose to it. So there is some rye on here. Definitely. I get the chocolate spearmint in the nose. That right there, my friends, is a rye. That is a it's gonna it's gonna shake your hand, it's gonna greet you at the door, it's gonna pat you on the back. Have a seat, son. We need to talk about your future type of rye. Only if there's peppers, and there is. That is a delicious mm. candied clove spearmint. Spearmint. Melted yes. butter. That's delicious. Mm. Um, comes off a little sweeter than most of the MGP or Ross's squibs now. Uh, 95.5 rice. It comes off a little bit more sweet. What do you think? Yeah, um, I would even, man, I would, I don't know if this is a I don't think rum finish, maybe. Oh, okay, can that can, okay, finish. you're right. When we get Caribbean rum casts. Yeah. The finish will get that sweeter note on the rye. Yeah. Hmm, that's delicious. But these two are so close, I can't get a one and two out of that just yet. Hmm, man. Very good. Well done, Chris. Well done. Hmm. That's tasty. I love a whiskey that you don't have to struggle to get notes for. It's just it's gonna introduce itself the moment it hits you. Both of those have great finishes. Man, maybe it's just me, but all these sort of have the same kind of Nose? note they, on it. Yeah, they do. Yeah, you know what I'm do. saying? Yep. I know exactly. That's, that's why I'm like, well, we'll, we'll add water later because I'm, yeah. I'm struggling on the nose here. Um, it's like maybe this is a cast strength of one of these. Apricot. It's a fruity nose too. I mean, there, going. There's some fruit. Okay, that's the barrel proof. Yeah. Ooh, ah, yeah. I've had that. That is, uh, mm. it's, a, it's a closet made out of raspberry wood because that's a thing. Um, very dark berries, not raspberry. It's got chocolate and vanilla on the finish. The peppers ramped up there. It was like, hello, I'm here. And then you took a slide down through the, the vanilla ocean water. Yeah, it's a water slide. Um, mm. Or is it a whiskey slide? Oh man, if they don't make that, somebody should. Here, here's the unique note I don't think I've ever had. This opens up to me extremely astringent, dries out my tongue, but transitions into creaminess and the finish is not astringent at all. I've never had a whiskey that dries my tongue out in the, in the beginning and then morphs. Yeah, the back of my tongue is starting to dry, but the front of my tongue is still really juicy. Ma'am. That is different. The, the the first whiskey that comes to mind is Colonel H. D. H. Taylor whiskey. That's the first thing that comes to mind for that. So right now my ignorant call is gonna be, I'm gonna call it Bullet, because there's a ton of MGP 955s, but I'm gonna call that Bullet. I'm gonna call that Colonel E. H. Taylor. Um We'll see. I'm not guessing. No wait. Going. Yeah. Oh. There's tropical fruits and a sour apple note to this. It, it, it is fresh sourdough bread. I get okay. right out yeah. of the oven. Right out of the oven, sourdough bread. This, this, I think, feel like this might make me pucker. <laughs> Not while I'm drinking. Are you puckering? Am I going to get lockjaw on this? I don't know what that is. I, can, I can't nail this down. Um, it is extremely... Thick. It's I, you could eat this with a fork. This one is very citrusy. Yes. Um, it's got like a fresh squeezed lemon and oranges, along with that apple juice. I get in there. That is that is something. I get. I, I got this picture in my head from when I was a kid of going to a restaurant. I can't tell you what restaurant it was, and they they, they serve you fresh bread. 
and I ate into this bread, but the bread was kind of raw, still kind of doughy. That's what this is. This is, even on the palate and on the nose, it is fresh bread, but it's underbaked. Mm. It's like it's fresh dough. Hmm. Okay. Um, I think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a sip and then do water. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add water. If there's, if this, I would be surprised if this is not a high rye in, in this, whatever this A is. Yeah, I'm gonna give you that there's, I'm gonna call this blind just because I like doing it. I like to be wrong. I'm gonna say high rye, I'm gonna say 75 corn, 25, 75, 25, that'd be a cool match bill. I'm gonna say 75, 15, 10 on this. I'm gonna say 95, 5, I'm gonna say currently each Taylor, and I don't know what this is. I hate I being know. wrong, so I refuse <laughs> to guess. I think you're right when you say that. <laughs> more, more, more bourbon on the palate with a drop of water. More brown sugar and caramels now, mm -hmm. and some butter on the nose. I'm, I don't know. This is just, just so rye. <laughs> this water uh, a gave me uh, a ton of malted barley. Actually, you're getting more rye on a than I am. I want to take a drink of this before I put water in it. Wow, so B with drop of water. Not just blueberry, but blackberries, elderberries, all kinds of berries. I don't know if I've ever had an elderberry. And a pie. It's a fresh baked berry pie. All right, I got mine. Oh, well, I'm sorry that you have to wait for <laughs> I'll sit here and drink and have a chitter chat. I'm good. Mm -hmm. um, man, we're having some good stuff here. I'm dang intrigued by what D is. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not translucent, but it looks like six months or less in a cask. I'm sure I'm wrong. Um, you say Japanese? Uh, I don't know. I don't either. I'm gonna go back to this rye. It is interesting. There's also some pear, apricot. Hmm. I, I'm having a horrible time getting past the, the fresh dough on the nose. Uh, Play Doh, a little bit of Play Doh. Water just kind of made it. Um, I'm gonna say this is probably a 40%. Oh, I didn't even mm -hmm. guess just, uh, ABVs. It kind of. Washed it, washed the sour note out, and made it really creamy. But this is still the order that that I like it in. Well, Chris judges his by uh, taste. I was gonna say taste tenderness, but that's 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 barbecue. Tenderness. That's barbecue. <laughs> I, I was smoking meat earlier today. Um, uh, drinkability is one of his things he judges on. For me, the rye has the best drinkability. Then why is it is it not your number one? Because C has the most flavor and is the most uh, saturated on my tongue. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you're, you, did you also go CBAD? CBAD, yes oh, I did. Matches, boom. Mm -hmm. uh, to the answer key? On to the answer key. On to the answer key. I think I want to know D first. I don't know order it's in. Oh yeah, we don't, we don't even know what order it's in. We'll figure it out here. Figure it out. Momentarily like. Make sure there's no mysteries like last time. All right, Burmus. Burmus. Nope. A is the bourbon. Remus Repeal Reserve 5. 9% cheater. 9%. What do you mean cheater? You're reading it. Oh, it's, it's two mash bills. 9% is a 2,000 okay. year old. Uh, it's 100 proof. That's a lot of different percent. That is. The B is arrived. Midwinter's Night Dram. I've been wanting that. Act 9, scene 5, 98.6 proof. I almost ordered this um, on the internet, but it was sold out. Tried to order uh, okay. it, sold out. See? Oh, Cast Rates Heaven Door. We have that. We do have that. We have that. Cast Rates Heaven Door, straight bourbon whiskey, 124.6 proof, bottle 157, barrel 9156. Uh, it's a store pick from. Banash Liquors. D is Paul John Indian Single Malt Nirvana Unpeated. We have that. Huh. Unpeated Single Malt Whiskey 80 Proof. I don't remember it tasting like that. John Paul. It's, it's some, it's hidden. It's, no, it's not I, right here. Oh. 
That's exactly his model, John Parle Nirvana. Interesting. Huh. 80 proof, okay. Not well, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, fair enough. Well played you, Chris. Cash rate, heaven's Look door. Look at all the rye, though. I said there's yeah, rye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you nailed it. You were spot on with, with the rye. Because like, not, not that Chris would ever do something to tell you that you're wrong. I know. But he just reaffirmed your greatness. That's a, that's a water that nobody should trip in. <laughs> just, you know. um, so, uh, based upon uh, my guesses, I was 100% wrong on absolutely everything, <laughs> which is awesome. You know, because trying's half the battle. Um, this is fun, though. I, I, heck yeah, it I is. can't believe the, this one was so... Man, well, we haven't gone back to it in, in a, probably in a, a year. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I'm going to pour that later. But Heaven's Door, we, we've already reviewed that. You can go uh -huh. back and check out one of yeah. our other reviews on that. Um, but Heaven's Door is doing some cool things. I'm very excited that he provided them in. This is our, this is our first I for really, that. I really like that one. That one's Love full it. of berries for yeah. me. I had a, That was a berry pie. Love it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, thank you so much to Chris for, yes. for that. Uh, we'll also leave links down in the video's description. Uh, uh, we also his. sent him some, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll leave the link of our video that he does in the video's description below. Uh -huh. uh, thanks so much for playing the Whiskey Exchange for us and seeing what four whiskeys that Chris is currently into right now on his bourbon, his whiskey journey. Whiskey journey. Yeah, anything to add, Gene? No, I don't have anything else to add. This is fun. I love it when I'm wrong. Me it, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm Charlie. <laughs> I'm Jean. And we hope you are just as thirsty as we um, are. Just grab one. Just grab one. Cheers. That's a horrible clink. Cheers. Cheers.